the last 15 years, I've been shooting skateboarding documentaries all over Europe, Asia, and Africa. And as a souvenir, I collected banknotes from each of these places as a statement to save them for the future in a place where uh, banknotes will be kind of obsolete, but as well to create these uh, pieces of art that show different type of patterns or in symmetry and create something beautiful out of a singular note by multiplying them. I've been living in Hong Kong now for over a half a decade and it was quite exciting to prep for my first art show since I've only had photo and video exhibitions before. So yeah, I think we wanted to uh, emphasize Hong Kong identity within this cool elevator space that uh, we have here at uh, the Kong. This is actually like a car parking lot that uh, an artist uses and he let us use his space for uh, the next three weeks. It's common in Hong Kong to just like be stuck in the elevator zone, be waiting on elevators, hang around by elevators. So quite a Hong Kong thing to do to have some art in here. And this are all these pieces that we have hanging are from Hong Kong. So uh, it's an 852 collaboration. <laughs> to be honest, like in the beginning, I had no idea for this to be of any magnitude impacting towards anyone. And it's nice to see the repercussions of the show and the people who have been supporting it to filter down to the ones that really need it and for us to like give back to the skate communities that have helped us out for so much of uh, our skate documentary ventures around the world. So I'm very excited that uh, with the proceeds of this show in Hong Kong 30% and in New York City 50% will go to skateboarding NGOs that have had a close place in my heart. Um, for example, Salad Days run by my friend Nestor Judkins who is helping distribute boards in Pakistan, Bhutan, and then um, Make Life Skate Life has been around for over 10 years, uh, building skate parks in places like India, Brazil, Bolivia. As we speak, they're building their park in Libya and soon to be building the second park in Iraq. These organizations are there to build parks and help out skaters to get exposure to the subculture where the government is not really initiating any type of like builds like skate parks or um, distribution of boards. Uh, Pushing Myanmar, which is pretty much there to give uh, kids in Yangon uh, a roof over their head as well as uh, some educational skills. I very privileged to have the 99 cent project from Arizona that um, made it their initiative to take this whole show to New York, which is not the easiest uh, thing to do logistically, but um, we'll be having a show in New York City and um, you can see half of these pieces hanging on the wall in the Lower East Side.